Hello, and welcome to another Reflection Line video. Before we jump to the test, relax your mind. Take a deep breath. And now, imagine. You are a vegetarian who finds herself on a deserted island. There is an abundance of flora and fauna, but you are unaware if any are edible. Meanwhile, the feeling of hunger is becoming stronger, and now you have found a nest with some baby birds. You don't want to starve, nor do you want to take the lives of these nestlings and upset the mother bird. What will you do? Number one, you will start to try unknown herbs. Number two, you will eat the mother bird. Number three, you will eat the baby birds. Number four, you will continue to investigate the island a bit more. Before going to the results, here is what you can think about. The main motivations to accept vegetarianism are the following attempt to diversify feeding behavior or following new tendencies. In these cases, vegetarianism is just a temporary period. An agreement of the idea of vegetarianism as the only correct choice of healthy eating. An acceptance of a definite religion. For instance, among the adepts of Rastafarianism, the vegetarianism and raw food diet are considered to be a religious activity the expression of global sympathy to animals, and as a result, a conscious refusal from animal products, aspiration to freedom and originality that allows someone to stand oneself out in the society. In case a man with any of these motivations must deny his principles of food unwillingly, he may experience a crisis of identity, review of one's priorities and roles played in society. Remember that in reality, the choice is not limited to variants, options, or typical spheres of life as it appears in our tests. It is multidimensional and diverse. If you choose to start to try unknown herbs, for the sake of principles and ideas, you are more than willing to sacrifice your own interests. Probably the most important things in your life are non-material ones. If you choose to eat the mother bird, in a critical situation, you try to follow your conscience and make a decision that provokes as little emotions as possible. If you choose to eat the baby birds, out of two bad things, you choose the lesser of the two and try to escape the situation rationally, with a lesser loss for yourself and for the people around you. If you choose to continue to investigate the island a bit more, you prefer to postpone the decision of important questions in the hope of a positive outcome and little loss to yourself and those around you. If you want more tests like this, you can buy our book, Imagine You Are, Personality Tests with Moral and Ethical Dilemmas. The link will be in the description. Want more videos like this? Like our video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to tell us everything you think in the comments below. See you beyond the reflection line.